Shukbog everyone, welcome to another video. This is Joy Austin and today we're going to talk about iPads. So I want to revisit the iPad Pro since we did the unboxing. It's been my favorite device to edit on. Uh, actually, I've been doing all my photo and video editing on it exclusively. And the reason why it's smooth, it's fast, it's portable and it can get the job done really quick and more efficient than my actual PC. After all these good things that I've been doing with it, if I have the opportunity to buy it again today, like if I didn't have it and I was wondering if I should get it or not, I probably will not. Don't get me wrong, I love this device. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, but it has some features that I'm not that interested in. For example, it's the like the three cameras, the bright, uh, the radar lens or whatever that is on the back, which I will never use. Uh, the big size, the big storage, all this kind of stuff. Get it up to uh, 1150 with the tax. So the reason why I'm saying that I'm not gonna get it because of this, this little thing. So the iPad Air 2020, the fourth gen. The reason why I will not get the iPad Pro because this little thing can do everything the iPad Pro can do for half the price. So you can get this one for 550, the 64 gig, which it's, it's more than enough. I will never shoot a video that's more than 60 gig of storage. So at any video that I'm gonna be shooting, it's probably gonna be less than 10 gig. Uh, so I can download it here. I can edit up to five videos at the same time. Maybe less, maybe four videos because I'll, I'll still need the storage to um, export the video to. But that's the thing. So if I can do all the work that my iPad Pro can do for half the price, why shouldn't I? So today we're gonna do the unboxing. We're gonna see what comes in it. Uh, like I said, if, if you're into the big size, then you're not gonna get it with this one because this one comes in one size, which is the 10.9. Uh, start with 64 gig and you can get the 265 for 750. On the other side, you have, you got the iPad Pro. This one is uh, 1150 and it has uh, the 12.9, which is almost 13 inch screen. They both can use the stylus, so you can still do everything on the iPad Pro on this little guy. Let's go and open the box, see what comes in it, and give me your thoughts, your opinions, and if you would go with the smaller, cheaper iPad, or would you go with the behemoth, the big, the large, um, the one that have extra features that you're probably not going to use. Because to be honest, who would use a camera on an iPad other than to scan documents? You're not going to shoot a professional video on it. You're not going to shoot a vlog. You're going to need two cameras, one to scan documents and one for face chat. And that's it. So push that aside. Of course, the beautiful feature on any iPad or any Apple products, when you try to do the unboxing, it's this. It's not that complicated. You don't need a knife, you don't need anything. Okay. Let's see. But, click this one here. That's it. Have the iPad. We'll unwrap it soon. Let's see what else comes in. You have the menu, everything you need to know, nothing interested there. You have the brick and the cable. That's it. It's really simple. Same thing with the iPad. It comes with the same thing. iPad Pro, I mean. So let's do this. Look at this, it's beautiful. 
okay. And it also has the magnet. So, you still use the stylus. Uh, the one thing that's also going to be different from the iPad Pro, this one has a fingerprint scanner on the top, which is it's also the power button. It does not have the face recognition uh, while well, you just like look at it and it opens. So that's a different, that's another thing, but I don't think that's a like deal breaker. It just one simple change. Um, let's compare them side to side. Take it out of the case. Okay, so this is my iPad Pro. And this is the Air. So side by side, it's not that much of a difference in size. You're still going to be able to do everything you want on it. So, and it's even more portable. So, like I said, if I haven't had the iPad Pro, I probably would go with the iPad Air. But since I already have it, I love it. I'm going to continue using it. So if you've seen this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, maybe today is the day that you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.